Hey, what's up, geeks? This is Bry2J with episode 20 of Yay Toys. Wow, we reached 20. That means we've gone 20 episodes, 20 weeks. It's a good feeling. Anyway, so, episode 20. Um, again, continuing the Star Wars Black Series uh, Force Awakens, although it doesn't say it on the packaging, uh, theme that we've been uh, going on. So I finally found this guy. So this is Finn. However, this is FN2187. Uh, so 2187, which is kind of a Easter egg in itself, 2187 was the cell block of Princess Leia. Um, so if you're a big Star Wars fan and you, and you didn't know, uh, yeah. So that was the Easter egg. And it's Finn's uh code number so um this figure so this is Finn from Jakku um but not when he um I'm sorry not Jakku from uh forgive me I don't remember the planet it was the same planet Poe Dameron was on with uh Max von Sydo where he gets the little the little map uh portion um so Finn was a first order stormtrooper from Kylo Ren who he he had trouble uh on that planet. Finn had a freak out session. Um he didn't want to f open fire like he he just he felt it was the wrong thing to do. He felt he, he felt like he should be a good guy and not a bad guy. So with that being said, Let's check out this really wonderful figure. So FN2187. Um he, he he chose to be the good guy. Um I mean spoiler alert, uh he rescues Poe Dameron from the clutches of Kylo Ren um because he needed a pilot. And they have this ultimate bond between the two of them. Um, and he rescues him from um, from uh, from the planet, from Starkiller Planet. But Poe rescued Finn not only from the clutches of being a First Order stormtrooper, but he rescued him from his from not from him not from himself. He gave Finn a chance to be human and not this robot first order stormtrooper. Um so basically this is the uh this is the stormtrooper version of Finn. Um from what I'm told, I don't own it, but from what I'm told, this is the same body as the uh the stormtrooper figure that would you know, be the non-Finn version. Um, however, this figure, I do love the fact... I mean, we're going to take the helmet off. Because it just makes things easier. So, look at this. This is supposed to be natural. Right? This is supposed to be natural. Uh, because his, um... There's a backstory that him and the one dubbed uh, Traitor, T-R-8-R... Uh, and the one that dies were all uh, friends in the academy. Um, so naturally, you know, when uh, when Finn's buddy dies, or at this point FN's buddy dies, um, he wipes the blood on the helmet. And there's blood there, there's blood here. So, yeah, that looks really great. Um, I love the design on the helmet. Uh, it's just really done nicely. Um, it looks like an evil smirk, you know. I just love it. Um, and I also love that Force Awakens was not afraid to show blood in a in a war. That was just really done nicely. But anyway, back to the figure. So 
that's the really awesome helmet. The figure itself, really great. Um, let's take the gun real quick. So he comes with two guns. He comes with the main blaster and then the pistol, right? So both actually fit just the way Phasma did it and also the other troopers. It goes right on the leg. And then you can take the other one and put it right on the leg. So there's storage for at least one while he's holding the other one. So that's really cool. Uh, let's look at the design real quick. Well, first let's look at the face. It's different than the other fin. So here's the other fin. It's a different face uh, facial expression. So that's really cool. Um, this version is more matted toward the uh, toward the paint or toward the sculpt. Um, yeah, it's really done nicely. Uh, the glossiness here, I mean, so in a video I was watching before, uh, it was saying, um, the guy was saying that it should have been dirtier on the trooper outfit because, you know, this was the desert version and being that he, you know, this is supposed to be the version where he quits and, and rebels against the, uh, first order. So yeah, it should have been dirtier. However, I'm still a fan of this. Um, and I mean, he holds the helmet too. Um, like if you kind of squeeze it in there. Like he's kind of looking at it. Like, do I want to be? You know, like you could pose with this figure, and I really like it. Um, so let's talk about his height. Let's talk about the points of articulation. And then let me show you something that I discovered earlier today. Okay, so the stormtrooper that's on the left is actually Han Solo in disguise. The one on the right is actually Luke Skywalker in disguise. The one in the middle being Finn or FN. Now, Princess Leia said to Luke, aren't you a little short to be a stormtrooper? So, was Kylo Ren not picky with height when it came down to his First Order troopers? Because Finn and Luke are the same height. I mean, I purposely put the helmets on so you see. Um, let's see. So, Luke is just shy of six inches. Finn is probably a dot over Luke, but it's he's still short, and then Han, of course, being six six inches, and then plus one line on the on the measuring tape. So, and then if you look at Phasma, I mean, sorry, it's so far in the back, she's even taller than uh, than Luke and Finn. So, I mean, I don't get it. I mean, I guess you know, with Episode Seven. Kylo Ren was like new era of troopers. I mean, the old trooper mask, uh, the old trooper helmet looked like they were frowning. The new one has a wicked smirk. Um, I mean, come on, it's right there. It's in the, you know, it's obvious. Um, maybe they were frowning because they couldn't hit anything, and I don't know. But, and these guys could actually fire. I, I don't know. But anyway, I'm just rambling. Um, so yeah. That's the difference. I mean, if you look at the outfit, too, I love the First Order look. Uh, the modern-day Stormtrooper outfit compared to the old. I mean, the old, the old ones are classic. I mean, it is what it is. But, um, yeah. So, we'll take, you know, these guys out of the way for right now. Because, again, this isn't about them. Um, here's Finn versus Finn. Um, I mean, obviously, with with the helmet on, FN is a little taller. If I take the helmet off, a little snug. Mm. So if I take the helmet off, you know, you see they're the same height. Well, actually, are they? I think Finn is a little shorter than FN, but. Yeah. yeah. Finn is actually a drop shorter than FN. That's weird, no? 
Anyway, so aside from that, um, those are the height differences uh, for the figure. Now, as for the posability, I mean, his head can go all the way around. Uh, looks down okay. Looks up pretty pretty far actually. Um, arms go out only about that much because of the shoulder pads. Um, can spin all the way around. Same thing. Single uh, single hinged elbow, but only that far because of the uh, armor. Does have the upper elbow swivel, the hinged wrist as well as the swivel, diaphragm joint. No waist articulation, but that doesn't hinder range of motion. Um, he does have the, uh, doesn't have upper thigh swivel. Actually, he does. It's very, very tight on mine, but it's there. I promise it's there. Um, yeah, so he does have the double jointed knees too. Um, and he f has the full on ankle and, uh, the, the, the swivel and pivot and, you know, the hinge and all that good stuff. So, yeah. Um, again, if you look carefully, there is a split right there, um, so you can do the, you know, rotation. It's just very tight and very limited because of the armor. Um, so yeah, a lot of range of motion on this figure. I, I'm really happy I got him. Um, again, different facial expression than the, uh, Finn, um, from the first wave. And, uh, the painting on the, uh... The paint used on the face, not as glossy as, you know. So you see it's a little different. Which is cool, because you get them in different facial expressions. Um, so yeah, now let me show you this little trick that I did earlier. And truthfully, it looks better. Okay, so um, I had to charge my battery while... Um, while I was doing the little, uh, secret trick that I did, um, just the battery in the camera at the time of the, uh, points of articulation was dying and was going to cut out any second. Um, so this trick would have taken a while anyway to do on camera, so I did it off camera. However, with that being said, um, I swapped heads, so now... Finn and Jakku is sporting the FN head, and the uh, FN is now sporting the Finn head. The reason why I did that, well, it started as a, can I do it and how would it look? And then I liked it, because, I mean, this head looks, because of the glossy paint, looks sweatier. So, like, when he pulled the helmet off and was having the panic attack, this kind of looks better for it. Um, and this one just has more of the, you know, goofy John Boyega, you know, fumbles in the desert and stuff look. So I kind of like that. Um, it looks, it looks pretty neat. Doesn't hinder the articulation at all. It's on a ball peg. So the head still goes down pretty far and goes back pretty far, you know. Um, and it looks fine on there. So with the figure that's being reviewed, I mean... Look at it. I keep hitting the cat. I'm sorry, guys. I keep hitting the tripod. Um, that's what happens when you're tired and do six videos in one night. Um, anyway, so if you look, it's seamless there. I mean, the head goes down still the same way, goes back the same way. You still get the side to side movement. Everything looks good. And the best part about it, the helmet, it still fits perfectly. So. If you have both versions of Finn, I recommend doing this trick. Um, put it under hot water or a hairdryer to make it easier to pop off. Um, I didn't do it at first, and I see a little bit of stress on the plastic on my uh, Jakku Finn. Um, so just be careful, okay, guys? So, with that being said, just pick up this figure. It is awesome. Well... That just about wraps up this review. I hope you enjoyed and thanks for watching. If you like what you see and you want to see a lot more, check out InnerCityGeeks.com for more of your weekly geekly. You can find me on both Twitter and Instagram at BRI underscore 2J. And if you can, 
please subscribe to my channel on YouTube. That's Yay Toys exclamation point. So with that all being said, again, thanks for watching, and again, hope you enjoyed. Peace.